The Arizona Wildcats are at odds of 150 to 1 to win the college football national championship. The team is at odds of 15 to 1 to win the Pac-12 championship. Last season saw the Wildcats go 7 and 6 straight up while going 3 and 6 in the Pac-12. The team went 6 and 7 against the spread and 10 and 3 on the over under. The Arizona Wildcats hope to bounce back from a disappointing season a year ago. The Wildcats won seven games and made a bowl game, but it was the worst season for the team under head coach Rich Rodriguez, and changes have been made for 2016. Rodriguez brought in new defensive coordinator Marcel Yates, who previously had been at Boise State. The defense this season will definitely be more aggressive under Yates. Arizona should have a potent offense led by quarterback Anu Solomon, who returns this season. Solomon should get some help this season as Nick Wilson is back after missing four games last season due to injury. The Wildcats will have to find a replacement for their top receiver, Caleb Jones, who led the team in catches for the past two years. The Wildcats return junior Anu Solomon, but the team has concerns as he has had some concussion issues. He didn't play that well last year and Arizona is looking at other players. Sophomore Brandon Dawkins and freshman Khalil Tate are in the mix, but Solomon has the edge and experience and will likely begin the season as the starter. Nick Wilson returns at running back and they need him to regain his form that he had two years ago when he ran for 1,375 yards as a freshman. The Wildcats have sophomore Orlando Bradford who played well in the spring and might just beat out Wilson for the starting job. Arizona has some returning receivers, but none of them are standouts. Seniors Trey Griffey, Samaji Grant, and Nate Phillips have combined for 299 catches, but none of them is a game changer. Cam Denson is returning to his position at receiver after helping last year at cornerback, and he might be the best deep threat that the team has. The offensive line should be better as tackles Leif Frika and Gerard DeBeer return along with junior guard Jacob Alcidek, who is the top returning lineman. The Wildcats defense was so bad last season that head coach Rich Rodriguez fired the entire defensive staff. He brought in former Boise State defensive coordinator Marcel Yates to fix things. The defensive line does have Sonny Flimaono and Parker Zellers, but not much else. The situation is not much better at linebacker as transfer Michael Barton is the only linebacker who looks good. Junior DeAndre Miller returns, but he has been hurt a great deal and senior Paul Maglor hasn't played well. The Wildcats also have questions in the secondary as only senior Devontae Neal is a given to start. Senior Tellus Jones should be the starting safety, but he was suspended in the spring. Former starting corner Jarvis McCall has been moved to safety, while junior Dane Cruikshank might start at corner this season. The Wildcats will be better on defense, and they will score points with Rodriguez as head coach. But overall, the team is not anything special. Solomon is not a great quarterback, and unless Wilson returns to form, the running game isn't good enough to win games either. The schedule for Arizona is favorable, but the problem for the Wildcats is that they simply don't have enough talent on either side of the ball to be a serious Pac-12 contender this season. It might be difficult for Arizona to even match last year's seven wins. Finishing with a winning record and making a bowl game is probably the best that can be hoped for for the Wildcats this season. Join us at BetDSI.com for all the best Arizona Wildcats betting options, including futures, props, and live in progress betting during the games.